All right, guys. I just have received this package from Amazon Saudi, and it has an infrared light torch in it. IR light is used in many applications, but mostly is used for night vision filming, and that is exactly what I am going to use it for filming in the dark especially when I go out for solo overnight camping in the desert. If you remember last week, we created this IR light because we couldn't wait until this package is delivered. If you want to see how did we create this one and how was its efficiency test, you can see the link in the description box. Now, this IR torch is small and uh, it is 840 nanometers only and came without a battery is it cheap it's about ni uh, 81.98 Saudi real that's about 23 dollars or about 21 euros so it came without a battery and there was no voltage indication in the website so in searching for battery for this ir light i thought it might use uh the lithium ion battery 18650 but unfortunately as you can see it is very large it cannot fit in so i tried this 16340 small battery lithium ion 3.7 volts as you can see it didn't get in it didn't work it is too small also remember guys this confusion is happening because this is a really small irld light the size is too small so i remembered I have another small LED light in my survival kit. Here. I had it from a long time ago. And I remember I bought a lithium ion battery with the size fixing with it. So for my surprise, when I opened this survival kit here and I found this LED light as you can see, okay actually with zoom look at the issue here it is exactly near the same size okay guys so started immediately to open this battery which is 14500p size lithium ion battery of 3 volts and i started putting it in here and look what happened it fit in very nicely but hold on this is a 3.7 volts if i continue and use it we are going to lose this ir light because it will burn it will use only 1.5 volts because we learned this from last week if you remember when we created our own ir light okay so what was the solution then, guys? Here is the solution. This battery of 14500 size, lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts. We, it is the same size exactly like dry cell 1.5, 1.5 volts. It's about the same size of double A size battery. It's a little bit longer but it works exactly the same with the same size so the correct thing to do guys for this 840 nanometers uh, uh, infrared light is to use 1.5 volts otherwise if you put like this 14500 size lithium ion battery you are going to lose your uh IR light it will burn because simply it's not an LED light 
it is an LED but an infrared light which is going to be uh, lost and you will burn it because it uses only 1.5 uh, volts so here we go put it like this and here we have it okay so before we start testing this one what is the difference between uh, uh, this torch and the one that we made last week All right. there is a big and a very important difference and that is the lens as you can see that are used to focus the light those are very important they will make the light more stronger the infrared light which cannot be seen by the human eye is only seen by the night vision camera okay this one it doesn't have so the light is scattered, scattered everywhere. But if you want to see how uh, long this uh, uh, homemade torque is reaching, you can see the link in the description box also. All right. So now let's go ahead and test this one using our uh, night vision camera. Okay, so we will use this Sony camera, okay? And it has a night vision here. So we are going to use that night vision and after we stop all the lights we are going to test this torque here remember it has an infrared light in here so we have to also cover to see the efficiency of our torque let's go to do that i i actually remembered that i configured this holder here for this mic to uh, uh, fit on my camera here, remember? So, I thought it might be also used for holding uh, our uh, infrared, new infrared light. So, let's just try to uh, just only use it for that. I think it will work nicely. So, you can just put it like this here we are now I think we can use this one here let me see yeah it's a little bit larger actually I can make one holder by myself it's okay no problem but it works it works very nicely so let's go now and test it to my corridor there inside the, this uh, failure it's about six to eight meters I think six or seven meters I think we can test it in a more longer distance so let's go and do that okay guys so now i'm filming in this dark room uh, after i covered the uh, uh, built-in camera ir uh, light uh, which is uh, actually uh, very low in range it's about four meters so if you just open the uh, or if i remove my uh, finger from the built-in IR, I can see the very near is nice actually. But when I, just for instance, look at the door there, the uh, the light is really fading and its uh, IR light is very weak. So barely we can see that there is an air conditioner there in this room. All right, now this is the uh, the uh, IR light. All right. So if we just turn it on like this, oh my God, you can see. So you can see, it can show you really, really, really uh, everything in details. And you can focus the light if you want by just only uh, pushing uh, this knob a little bit forward and backward. You can see, you can focus the light. This is the issue, it can focus the light. That is why it is different from our uh, uh, homemade uh, uh, IR light. Maybe we can uh, also make our uh, uh, IR light like this. Now, let's go for step number two. Uh, okay, and here's the corridor uh, with the new light. And this is with the built-in uh, infrared red light okay 
Uh, let's turn on our uh, light. One, two, three. Oh yeah. As you can see, 